What's up guys? This is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to pick up where we left off, we have this week this weakened force. Actually it's not weakened, it's well it's it's weak, but it's not depleted. We have a force marching east um, against our advanced guard, which is pushing in from from the west uh, from the east, but it's driving west. So we have a force under the command of Giorgio Matarazzi who is a little bit attrited, but nothing important. There's a handful of guys here in a cavalryman down, but I think we should be more than equal to the task to destroy this force. There's a significant, uh, comp a significant component of melee infantry to be aware of, but chiefly there's no real things to worry about here. So let's en get to engage this force and drive them west, because we are, we are driving in hard on the remaining Mughal territories from all directions and there really, really will be a, uh, a limit as to how long they can continue to withstand us there and I'm particularly keen to attack the Moog focus on Moog focus on destroying the Mughals in India rather than squeezing them in the Americas because if I were to be well if you were pl if this was slightly earlier in the game then you might want to focus more on well you, you have to focus on India but you would still throw or well, maintain the pressure in the Americas because the Americas is quite a nice theatre to fight in, I think. The terrain's usually pretty dependable and just quite a nice front to focus on. Whereas the India can be a bit trickier. Um, but because I have so, such significant firepower in America as well, I can afford to kind of hold the line there, exploit gaps where possible, but focus on destroying the Mughals here because that really starts to drive down the amount of battles we have to fight against the Mughal Empire. Because once we destroy them in India, then a new set of colonial powers and pirates will rise, and that will be more advantageous, I think, for us to uh, to engage later on. So yeah, a very pretty conventional line. Uh, I'm, I'm anticipating I'm doing a bit of advancing. That's why I've got my line in front of my guns because I am anticipating my guns to do some well they're, they're fine to do counter battery because they do have their own artillery I think one volley from our artillery will do a huge amount of damage not as much as damage as the quick climb here will do oh yes well there we go 240 cavalrymen reduced to 70 and they're both gone retarget my howitzers so yeah, Sipahi are going to be a bit of a tricky one but my cavalry are charging my general's bodyguard is also here but I need to run up my swiss pikes to help shore up that flank my left flank can advance because we have superiority on this front one of the Lancer units has returned let's slightly reorientate my line so I'm going to run my cavalry back to see if I can bring the action closer to my pikes which it looks like it will it means my pikes have less distance to cover before they get involved in the action. So those units will get chewed up by my line. Just push up a bit across the board. I mean I might even just run that unit of pikes across the front. Because pikes are not infallible. Although they do have a significant well, there's a lot of cavalry and the general bodyguards in here as well. So it's probably as good a collection of units involved there as I could have hoped for. Let's push my garrison guards in on the flank Then so my battle line is going to chew up their left flank well their right flank on my left. So charge my cuirassier into the Hindu warriors. Let's pick new targets for the howitzers Ooh, there's another cavalry charge coming in that could be very dangerous for my pikemen. Yeah. Let's get all my guns to focus on the general. The pikemen, they don't last forever. 
they do when they go down they go down hard and that addition of Hindu warriors will really have hindered <laughs> the action somewhat the lance has been pushed back want my poke want my my pikes to focus on the horsemen and my and my cavalry to focus on the Hindu warriors the men knock out the guns pivot my front There, well, one of them is shattered. Let's bring this cavalry unit into action over here. We'll charge through this unit of Sikh musketeers because they're already depleted. Well, they're already routing, so just try and kill a handful more of them, although they are pretty damaged already. Switch all my howitzers to round shot and get them to also focus on the general's bodyguard. I mean, that Hindu musketeer unit might actually come back, so let's put two units on guard, ready. Fundamentally. They're a bit stuffed. There we go, my pikes are, my second unit of pikes are also in. General's bodyguard will suffer there. Oh man, that Hindu warrior went flying. Yeah. It's interesting how his texture file changes as you zoom out. <laughs> it's got must it sort of like a pale yellow there and you zoom in, it's more like a raspberry ripple effect. All my howitzers bombard that Hindu musketeer unit that's forming square. The garrison guards march in. You men form line ready to face off against the levee. Throw my garrison guards into the action. These three infantry units can help secure the flank of combat here, but it looks like things are going against them. This pike unit. Get them to withdraw. Curacier pursue the Hindu warriors. The general's bodyguard, well, we've already killed a general. Yeah, these two units are going to chase down the levy in vicious close quarter actions. Garrison guardsmen and infantry alike, although they are actually standing up to the fight more so than I thought. Thought they may. Whereas over there, the Hindu musketeers have fallen. Ceasefire than my artillery. So all of you men, sans curassier, push up into the flank there. Curassier, let's get you out of here. Make sure you're still chasing down the Hindu warriors. The levy have broken. Form up a new line. All my guns open up on the Sikh musketeers. Pikes can kill a handful of Tufangi. Ooh, field artillery. Folks on the general's bodyguard. They're charging in again. Ceasefire. Ooh, they really. God, they did a real number on my Swiss pikes. All of those guys were killed in the initial charge. Let's see, is there a general in this unit? Well, it's the general's bodyguard unit. The general himself. Yeah, they've their general's been lost, so let's make sure you're out of here. Speed up time. So let's get you to focus on the Sikh Musketeers. Ceasefire with the artillery. And speed up time. Maybe let's get my general's bodyguard to pursue that their general's bodyguard just in case. We might be able to wipe out this Sikh musketeer unit, which would be quite the coup. Four men left now, one escaped. 
Oh, the other unit that survives all the way over here. It's five Islamic swordsmen. Oh yeah, there they are. One up front, leading the way, leading his comrades to safety. But not safe enough. For a decisive victory is ours. And that is another significant Mughal force pushed back with the Swiss pikes top of the leaderboard. Obviously this unit here has got smashed from 370, 375 it entered the field and it left with 60. So you, my friend, will require a bit of replenishment. Yep, so we've got a, a really solid defensive position in America and I'm okay with allowing all of these troops to drag down the ability of their armies in India to repair and replenish. I mean, we have invaded in, in, in Florida. So we're going to cause some issues for them there. They are grouping together. Ah, darn. Well, there's always going to be gaps. That's why you have an army such as this one to the rear that's holding the bridge. They can advance to make sure they repel that force and drive them east. What well, Mexico's up to? Probably something navally. Mexico seems to spend a lot of time doing naval invasions. Yeah, I found an agent. Yes, you're not fully replenished, so Bartolomeo Samani, you are ripe to hit Meza. Bakshish. You here, Niccolo Luzato, continue to replenish. Artazari Minicello. Obviously, you are waiting for. Well, can't push the Gurkha unit out until we clear out that army there. There's a little nest of activity here. Let's take Daniel Pache to secure the crossing here. Nino Chetti, push up towards here and push up to here. Not being very careful not to get within this unit's control zone. But there we go. That's quite a significant significant position to hold. We're going to take these guys and push east and hit Mir Mirza Rathor. Obviously now we have all of these guys to deal with, but let's let's pace things out. Another force ready to deploy. Oh, come on, laggy. Lag. Let's just deploy them off of the coast right here, because at least then that, that means they could potentially... Well, they won't have any actions this turn, but they will be available to be used as reinforcements for the attack on Florida. Again, this is another turn I think is going to take take some time to get through. There go. Troops deployed. Sixth rate, join this cluster of ships. There we go, we've rebuilt our holdings here. Let's drive you down to hold. Okay, again, we could well, we could actually fight and push these guys off. But again, I need, I need to stick with the general strategy of start on one side of the world and, and then work my, work my way around. So let's do a bit of building. I, mean, I know it's not entirely necessary, but... Our, our financial situation is fantastic because we're on currently 1.6 million. But it could always be better. Steampunk Hoff Mill, Go and Ahmad Nagar have both, re have both um, rebuilt their forces. You men, you have troops to the south, don't you? Oh, you must have got hammered. Yeah, you're going to actually stay here. Someone needs to go chase down Jai Singh. Well, I might take Fabiano just to do that quickly now. It's unlikely to be... Yeah, no, this is an army we've already fought. Yeah, Fabiano Castelli, good stuff. Let's get you back up to the front. Okay, I'm gonna again, I'm going to start east to west, I think. We're going to have to knock out this army. Drive you forward to hit. Zulfakir Abdullah 
shore up this front and then maybe advance up towards Nagpur. Well, let's not get let's not count our chickens yet. You currently don't really have a job. Oh, I remember we had an army land from We had an army land here and try and uh, hit our territory. Let's see if we lose those ships now. It's first rate and a second rate, so they could do some good damage there. But anyway, what did I say about getting carried away? And then proceed to get carried away. Niccolo Indrizi smash Mirazarathor and drive him westward. We need to keep squeezing their troops together and we want to keep our front lines solid to prevent any of their armies from being able to work their way through gaps and cause us problems. Because that's really not what we want. We really, really want to... Uh, I mean, I know it sounds, it sounds obvious, but God, I hate the AI at times. And this is a nice wet battle. Okay, deploy the guns to the rear, firing over our heads, howitzers up front. So let's create a, a brigade to go straight at them. And then we can recreate, create some smaller units to push the flanks. Again, we're not getting some sound shenanigans. Let's put the bulk of the cavalry on the flank that has the fewest infantry. General will lead up front. So let's pick our targets with our howitzers. It doesn't really need to be anything in particular, just something else. Push my cavalry up rapidly. My infantry is going to walk. Push this infantry up. Cavalry out wide. Because who's here? It's Hindu Musketeer unit that's dug in. It's weird, but sometimes this works. Hmm. Not this time. So my centre line needs to run. Sars hit the... Kizilbashi. Get our infantry to push up the flanks with a bit more urgency than they're currently showing. I mean, why are you. It's odd, to be honest. They all. It gets so quiet almost uniformly. But still, Kizilbashi are falling in the centre. I mean, this is a force that is vulnerable. Because they already were depleted in so many ways. Oh, you men form square. Let's bring our our cuirassier down. Actually, no, don't charge the Kizilbashi because it looks like it looks like those musketeers may, with a volley from this regiment of line, go down from the infantry in the square, in the square formation. I might even position you like so. Let's fire. Drive up the hill. We might chase away the general's bodyguard because they are very weak so even a bit of musketry will be enough to make sure they fall. We've got a levy unit pushing the flank. They're driving hard down our flank. Okay, you guys get out of square. You men advance and form ranks. Hit the kids or bash, there's only six of them left. Let's make sure our howitzers are dropping round shot. Pick some generic targets. Let's take these two infantry units and push the Hindu musketeers on the flank. We've seen the levy off. Few men form up here and fire into the flank of this tiny Kizilbashi unit. Round shots are pounding the artillerymen that are routing. Field artillery engage the general's bodyguard that's running around to the rear. Charge this infantry up the hill. Their Hindu musketeers have broken. These bowmen will fall pretty rapidly. These Swiss grenadiers haven't even lost a man yet, which is quite nice. 
The, bow the bowmen have routed. So let's push our infantry up the hill. Always try and maintain a competitive advantage. You men advance to engage. There we go. The sound come back. Yes. There you go. Hindu musketeers have pivoted to face the flanking threat. You men also pivot to engage the Hindu musketeers. You men all continue storming up the hill. How it says engage the general's bodyguard here. Let's take a break a unit of hussars away to try and chase down some of the routing troops. You men hunker down on Form Square. Got a lot of artillery engaging the general's bodyguard at quite short range. Yep, as they've all been knocked back, but they're still alive. There we go. We'll accept some friendly fire here because generals. Well, elephants are always a bit tricky. You men all charge in. Sometimes I really think the rain. It's always worse with rainy battles. Cease artillery fire. Bring up the general. So everyone's charging into this Hindu musketeer unit. Obviously got cuirassier in here. Doing a lot of damage. But they've been joined by three units of infantry, which, once the second Dakili of Hindu Musketeers breaks, they will withdraw. So, there we go. These men get out of formation, you men charge down the Hindu Musketeers, and I think we are ready to simply speed up time. There we go, there's the general's bodyguard. Chase down that unit of musketeers. They're all spread out, but... Come on, there's a kill all these musketeers. Is it because they're all sp spread out? There's one last musketeer there, which would be nice to kill, which we've got. To be honest, the actual visibility is a bit difficult when the maps are rainy like this we'll take what kills we can get because I'm not going to spend too much time trying to be incredibly efficient when the when the map looks like this because I mean when I zoom out like it's terrible there we go so that's one force that has been repelled so Mr. Indrizi's force. Avati. You men can replenish and potentially... Well, you're going to advance through the woods. You're going to advance up into his face. You're going to hold that crossing. These units are going to advance forward as well. Durastante Balbus. You can advance and hit Zulf Zulfikar Abdullah. We have a force here. Well, they've been, they've already been engaged, so they require replenishment. So you're going to push them back. And then that leaves Nagpur vulnerable to a to invasion from troops here, especially uh, Mr. Defendi. But first, let's take Mr. Balbus, smash into this. Mughal force here, drive them west. Or do I it's really depleted, I'm just gonna auto resolve that. We'll lose more men than we would need to, but to be honest, we've got so many battles to play, it's okay we've got so many battles to fight, it's okay to auto resolve a handful of them because you know we've got more interesting things that we can do. What we can do is take push you guys out here. Nesto's force is weak, but not 
ever so. Flavio Castiglione. Well, I know what's going to happen. Okay, this is going to be the Division of Labour. Luciano. Is it Luciano? Yeah, Luciano. You can push out of Hyderabad. I mean, this army needs to be destroyed because it's sucking up two of our armies, including the incredibly capable Nino Boscovich. Let's make Flavio push onto the plantations. Ernesto advance up to Nagpur. We need to smash into them and scatter them west. But first of all, let's take Baldassare and go hit Baraji. Bora, who has, re who has replenished because we attacked them, but we didn't actually um, destroy them, which meant they, they were able to replenish from troops and native native peoples from the countryside but we'll fight them we'll destroy them and then i'll probably auto the remnants so we can allow nino boscovich to advance i'll drive just just, just to drive north because to be honest we've got so many armies we could if we like just run through them all so as with similar operations when we're going to be offensive our guns are going to be firing over our heads. Let's form a couple of solid artillery batteries. Form a solid infantry line. Get Baldassare involved on the front, which means he will likely die. <laughs> okay, pick our targets. Dervishes. Hindu warriors. Ooh, shrapnel shot. Causing some upset. Yeah, the cavalry is attempting to get up to mischief. Keep my cavalry wide. We got a volley off. Drop into square. Lest they dip their sabres and continue to run towards us. Which they are. Horsemen are charging to the rear. This regiment of foot has to hold. It'll be good to try and knock out some of these cavalry units, but I'm hoping. There we go. Cavalry knocked out. Take a heavy cavalry wide to go hit the bowmen. Dervishes are they're not a cause for concern exactly, but go wide, then hit the bowmen in the flank. Bring up the bodyguard as well. Switch my artillery to round shot because they're soon to be engaging units that are going to hit my front. There we go, get back out of square. Okay, heavy cavalry has been engaged by dervishes on the flank. Send my cavalry in to re-engage their skirmish cavalry. Unfortunately, my heavy cavalry is up front. Nice volley off there, but my cavalry should see them off. Get my general back out of that action, that was a bit silly. You men both engage the levy. Advance this unit of line infantry forward to hit the bowmen. 
We need to start to uh, relieve my heavy cavalry to the rear. You men should both defeat the levy there. Kizilbashi cavalry looks like they're going down. Down to 35 men. It would be excellent if you were to rout him fairly quickly because there's a unit of camels right there, which could really do with a heavy cavalry charge in the backside. There we go. Regiment of horse. Get up around to the rear. Charge my general into the rear of this unit of bowmen. Because my infantry are actually losing there. There we go. Advance my flank up. Get this regiment of horse to hit that unit of dervishes. Get my general back out because he keeps... He's being whittled away. The bowmen are almost routing, but then actually let's get my howitzers to engage. Actually get my howitzers to engage the Indian guards, get my foot artillery to engage the general's bodyguard. Ah. God damn it, AVG. AVG popped up being like, oh don't worry, your computer's safe. And it's like, I don't care. <laughs> I've got Mughals to attack, damn it. Ah, come on. I thought he crashed for a minute and I was like, oh no. You men reform the line. Generals re engage the bowmen. Let's hope this doesn't spell the end of him. Nope, there we go. So you men form up. You men run up to the rear of that action there. You men push it up. There we go, get involved. You hit that unit of bowmen. These camels still causing us mischief. And there we go, they've been knocked out. The cavalry guards have been pushed. The Indian cavalry have been pushed away. Let's pivot this fight here. There we go. The Tufangi are wavering. And the Hindu musketeers will soon follow. Because Tufangi are kind of like the town watch, if you like. They're not. They're not frontline calibre, not at all. So you men reload. You've got a good angle to both attack the bodyguard and also to fire into the flank of the combat here. No, oh, I might have lost a couple of cavalrymen there charging through the spikes. But it's a good trade-off, I think. Yeah, my cavalry have fled. But that's a natural and fair result, I think. Horse guards charge the bowmen. Enemy general has been killed. So let's root our... Okay, right. Counter charge the dervishes because all they've got left. Run you men through the gap. Okay, let's get my cavalry back. Let's form an infantry line to engage those infantry guards that have returned. There we go. You men chase down the bowmen. I wouldn't be surprised if my foot artillery isn't. Oh no, it is firing. Okay, disregard. These two units again. Well, I mean, they are dervishes. They're not. They're not rubbish, but they are still melee troops. Yeah, 
unsurprisingly, the dervishes are also not entirely happy with this state of affairs. Yeah, reinforcements are arriving, but we don't need reinforcements. Yeah, let's call that a victory there, because all we're going to end up doing is um, auto-resolving against the remnants. There we go. Yeah, definite auto-resolve territory there. So Nino, you can have a target to immediately march towards the Jane, because you are you are very strong. Balthazar, eh? Try and plug up the western front a bit. Try a minute. Amerigo Bruno, you need infantry really, so you're going to recruit two units of Indian mercenaries. Michele Contarini has to put a Medabad under threat, surely. Mr. Venturi, well, uh, Mr. Venturi, push up. Oh, there's no one here. They've all marched east, which is great news. Pietro, march for Diapur. Pietro Caboto, push across the bridge, but not all the way into enemy territory. Pepe, Pepino Volta is going to hold. And that's going to be a fairly decent action. So up here's defensive. We don't know what we can for this guy. We're not going to push you off of the bridge to hit Ram. These units can't be engaged, but we can take... Uh, ah, yes. Luciano, Luciano Volta to hit Mer Suresh. And Adil Suresh. Although, to be honest, those that might be an auto as well. Yeah. What? What? The auto gods betrayed me. Fortunately, we've got buckets of firepower, and actually, it means we can recruit some a bit more of an Indian centric army. So, cavalry is okay. Ooh, artillery, you can get. Let's get you near rockets. So, what have we got? Company cavalry, you need of rockets. Uh, six slots for infantry, so let's get four company infantry, two units of sipoys. Very well then. Let's take Mr. Russo and push forward. Let's see why it is the AI decided that, that these were such a formidable fo formidable force. Doesn't really bother me. We've got a... What it will mean is that when we're fighting in the Americas at least we'll have armies that have quite a distinct um, Indian feel to them. Which is quite nice. Rather than just having too many identical armies. Oh, beautiful terrain. Push up on a wide front. Justice for your comrades. They must have called up some heathen spirits or magic to otherwise claim victory against a force which had no right to be defeated in battle. Advance! I've even got my heart put my rifleman in the line. Not quite the right decision. Ooh, what I might, what I do like though is. See, they are coming over there. Let's see if I can get my rifleman up on top of the. Rifleman on top of the hill with my cavalry backing them up. Because their artillery have destroyed one gun team. Get my field to focus on the general's bodyguard. My howitzers to get to work on their troops. Those poor bowmen. I mean, if they advance too well, to be honest, it's probably smarter to bayonet charge. So let's bring two units of infantry over to secure the high ground on the flank they've been shattered unit of engineers get over here as well
How it's a switch to round shot, focus on general's bodyguard. Send a unit of infantry to push forward and capture those gun positions. New men all charge in to provide some support for the cavalry against the dervishes. These cuirassiers can engage the general's bodyguard, I presume. Riflemen deploy stakes to help to provide some sort of protection. You be very careful not to run too far on. Well, you deserve that, you silly Billy. Ooh. Hey, he, did, he, did he just jump it? Well, let's take out this commander. There we go. See you, men. Form square. Everyone else push up. Let's get our cavalry across. The artillery engaged the Kizilbashi. You probably hit a stake. Yeah, you did. Fair enough. You men form square because there's a unit of Sapani coming right for you. Artillery engage. Actually, my howitzers engage them. My field artillery engage the general's bodyguard. My riflemen are engaging Kizilbashi. Oh man, they are they're coming for us. Oh, that was a great volley. One more. Charge some more troops in against the Sipahi. The infantry have collapsed a bit. Let's try to see if we can knock out. Oh, excellent artillery. Yeah, we're okay with letting them get away with that. You get out of square. So the new men that aren't needed for that to fight the Sipahi can also advance with more line infantry because all of these guys are, are mobbing this unit of armoured cavalry which they have to mob in they have to mob in numbers if they don't I mean there's a fusilier unit in there they, they are not going to like that one bit but battle must be joined Light infantry have got begun firing volleys there. My, my foot artillery can't engage the enemy. Everyone else is pushing up though to secure the position. How it's as limber up. Advance our line so that we are providing proper fire support. Sipahi won't be around for too much longer. They're going to do a lot of kills. They're going to make get, get a lot of kills and do a lot of damage, but I don't think it's going to be enough to... There we go. Everyone's reloading. Good stuff. Pivot the lines. It's a bit of a bit annoying. We've got more strange sound things going on. Let's get our riflemen up on top of the hill. Although you men might actually want to push out on the flank. Got a cavalry unit amongst us, which is a bit odd, but there we are. We'll try and trundle up a how it is a bit closer. Get my cavalry out wide. Ooh, engineers and foot guards have an excellent flanking position. 
against this unit of musketeers. Now they've collapsed. Get my cuirassier up front to try and take out that artillery unit. I think that's probably the remainder of their... Well, I think all the reinforcements that can enter the battle have entered the battle. So the cuirassier chased down the artillery explicitly. Can't really shuffle these guys around to have a better position to engage that unit of musketeers. But we do have a unit of engineers with an excellent flanking position. We have, unit of, we have a regiment of horse sat here just waiting. Waiting for their chance. You haven't really got an angle on them. So we're going to have to advance to point blank range. If foot guards firing into their flank should cause them some upset. This infantry doesn't really have much of a choice except to advance to dangerously close range due to due to the terrain. Oh wow, they've all got stuck on a cart. That's why they're all getting over there in dribs and drabs. So you men, I'll group together so I can turn fire well off when I need to. Come on, let's speed up time a little bit because I want to see these guys get a bit of revenge. There we go. They do not like that one bit. Cease fire! I didn't even notice this unit over here. There we go, the cavalry just falling on them from every direction. Oh, these... These devils, they're brave, but foolish. Advance up to close range. They're going to form up, and so have my guys. These fusiliers might be able to get some... Are you waiting for anyone? Yes, you are waiting for one fusilier. But they have routed. This unit's been destroyed. That's all that's left, and the, the edge of the battlefield's right there. So I'm not going to bother. Hurrah! Another devastating loss for the Mughal Empire. At the very least, to the south, in America, we need to take Florida so they don't... If well, when the, 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 um, the Mughals are defeated here, they don't immediately get teleported back to Europe. Yeah, I would like... An army to advance up to cover this bridge because that's what there's a couple of troops here in the port so we can't fight there that's all done the front here is cleaned up a bit more but we're going to chase down Adil Suresh just wipe out wipe out their little force Stefano D'Amico is going to march ready to face off against these chaps you're going to take them, you're going to take them. Okay, what we're going to need to do is take... Signor, si. Signore. Oh, you're going over to Balthazare. Let's march you right up into their grill and attack Miraza. Miraza. Back. Back shish. Let's take him out. Another infantry-focused force to the north. I mean, to be honest, we could fairly quickly sprint down and capture the rest of their cities. I mean, Amandagar's under siege. Lahore is close to being under siege. Eugène and Barra are both... Well, Eugène is, is being targeted by someone. Barra will be targeted next turn. Yeah, fundamentally, if we choose, 
the Mughal Empire actually does not have much of a life left in it. No, I didn't want to do that, did I? There we go. Again, this is another force that's... It's got a reasonable number of troops in it, but I don't think it will be enough. So we have a significant advantage on the right flank. Quick climb has done a devastating job because they've got lots of... So I didn't target them, but they were focusing on the guns and there were lots of enemy units near the guns. Yeah, let's go machine my riflemen. Get the heavy cavalry in. The rest of my battle line can ignore that cavalry. Advance up into their face aggressively. My riflemen just advance. My cavalry or my artillery attack the shattered remnants of the Mughal force. And you can see we're marching up in smart order, right up into their faces. If they want to make it, or if if it results in a melee action, then we will gladly accept said melee action. First of all, let's stop our artillery from targeting anyone. Actually, my howitzers. Bombard the kids or attack ground nearby. There we go. So we've gone into a melee fight on this flank. Their cavalry is fleeing or running away from my heavy cavalry, understandably, but at the same time frustrating. The garrison guards, I think, were getting shot in the back. So let's take you men, chase down the Sikh Musketeers. Give the Gurkhas a long order to charge in from all the way to the rear. Commit the general. So you might have to charge. So you charge them. You guys charge them. You men charge in against the Hindu warriors here. Just attack ground nearby. The infantry there. Currently dug in. I mean, these are just levy and a handful of musketeers, so I doubt they're going to be doing too much. Actually, I might get my Gurkhas to come in and hit the Kizilbashi on the flank, so let's make sure you're a bit safe. There you go. Hindu musketeers aren't bad in melee combat. Make the Gurkhas walk until they get within charge range. The enemy general has been killed. Yeah, the garrison guards have come back. Everyone else is just broken. Oh, there we go. Artillery cease fire. Speed up time a little bit. go everyone that can shoot people well we haven't got much much cavalry we can do some good stuff should go for the Sikh musketeers because they're the furthest ahead of us K 
come on. You can knock out the 36th Regiment of Sieg Musketeers. There we go. That unit of dervishes has gone down pretty rapidly. There we go. Let's attack and destroy this Kizobashi unit, although they're going to escape because of those units there. There's one unit way off in the distance, which I'm not going to bother with. You, you, you leave and you tell men what happened here. You tell them what happened when they faced off against the Italian Empire. I mean, they definitely won't. My cavalry definitely won't get there in time. Although they are helpfully running to right into the very corner. How useful. Ah, oh, dear, dear, dear. Let's have a teensy bit of coffee. And there we go. Victory is ours. And how are we getting on? Yeah, we've lost. Well, no, we didn't. We never lost one unit. The unit that was coming in to reinforce this army was the Gurkhas. So you men replenish. Take Balthasari Minicello. He can reinforce on the road to Akbaraban, supported by Alfeo Riccioli. Riccioli. Riccioli, Riccioli. One or t'other. Okay, they need to push and hit Muzrat Rathor. Do we have a religious building here yet? Converting anyone? No, we do not. That, oh, this is... Oh, Kasur would have been the university. I see. Mr. Cardano, you replenish. Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze. Signore. I mean, Pietro Caboto. You almost have a patriotic duty to go straight for a diaper. With no garrison, the city will fall immediately. Signore. Stefano D'Amico, you may actually push towards Jane to put that territory under threat as well. And it all comes down to what's going on here at Lahore. We've done the fleet, arrived. Lots of successful missions, lots of traits gained, which is fundamentally lots of my generals. Uh, well, they're coming out. They're coming out pretty well. This guy, Balthasare. He's got a little Sawa. So uh so he's twenty-nine, and he's just he's a pretty darn good general. Um but the next thing to do would be to take Giordano Bevilacqua. Mr. Shivoni Shivioni Shivoni is reinfor is replenishing, so go march this force into Mr. Rathor and push them back too, but looking at the timer. And also a bit for my own mentality, because I've just been fighting constant battles for an hour. I'm going to end the episode here. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time for yet more battles against the Mughal Empire. Cheers everyone.